In this video, I want to discuss a piece of software called Gigapixel. It's by a company called Topaz, which up until a couple of weeks ago, I'd never heard of. And then I started seeing advertisements for their software appearing on my Facebook page. Now, most of their software, most of the stuff that I've seen advertised appears to be either up video footage or sharpening up still images to make them supposedly you know a lot crisper and a lot cleaner and i've always been skeptical of stuff like this you take photoshop for example you increase the sharpness of an image in photoshop and it ends up almost looking more like additional noise rather than actually enhancing the image or i've always been very skeptical of up thinking you can't add information that doesn't exist how how does the software know well, Topaz claimed that their software uses AI that's supposed to work all this out. Now, as it happens, I fell into a situation last week, week before, where I needed to up a, a, an image. So I thought I'd give one of their pieces of software a try. Now, I do want to stress, this is not a paid or sponsored video at all. In fact, Topaz haven't even got in touch with me asking me, do I want to make a video about it? I just downloaded a free trial version, haven't even paid for it downloaded a free trial version, gave it a go, and was actually kind of surprised by the results, so wanted to just share what I found, really. Why I needed to up a file in the first place was during this whole COVID lockdown saga, I've been making a point of posting one image every single day to social media. It's just something to pass the time because, you know, trying to regularly film and edit and upload videos whilst homeschooling two kids just doesn't seem to be enough of a challenge anymore. So I've been going through my back catalogue and trying to find images to upload. And then I remembered a few years ago I took a trip to Las Vegas and there was a few good images from there. One in particular that I really wanted to upload, which is this one. This was taken from the top of the Stratosphere Hotel, the observation deck at the far end of the Las Vegas Strip. So that, that's kind of looking down the Las Vegas Strip there. Now this is not just one wide angle photo. This was actually a panorama shot that I took using a 70 to 200 mil. So I must have took about 60 images at 200 mil and then stitched them all together into a massive panorama shot. I mean, the, the original TIFF file for this was a couple of gig, and the detail in it when you zoomed in was brilliant. Unfortunately, then, a few years ago, the hard drive that all of those images were on failed. So I've lost all of the Las Vegas photos. And I, I must have a copy of this somewhere. The only place that I could find it the only record of it anywhere that I could find was I'd uploaded it to Facebook, which is where I've got this from. But obviously Facebook down reses and compresses the living balls out of any image you upload. So although the original file of this was huge and I then downsized it a little bit to then put it onto Facebook, this particular file at the moment, the only copy I've got is 2,462 by 1,000 pixels. So, you know, a thousand pixels, not particularly brilliant. Look, the, the finished file is only 400 kilobytes. So, there's not a lot of detail in there. You know, if I bring it into Lightroom and I try and zoom in, there's no detail at all. It's really pixelated and a lot of it is just noise. And it was kind of disappointing, which wasn't the end of the world because at least at the moment, all I'm planning on doing with the picture is uploading it back to Instagram and Facebook, who, even if I'd had the original, would compress it probably back down to this anyway. Now, obviously, you can up res a file just using Lightroom or Photoshop. For example, I've already got one here called 4 Times Lightroom, which all I've done for that is take the original file that you've just seen in Lightroom and export it, but I've changed the short end resolution to be 4,000 pixels, so it's essentially upscaled it to 4 times the original. So now with this one, when you zoom in, you can get a whole lot closer, but it's still just pixelated. All it's done, essentially, is let you just zoom in more to the original file. You can see all of those are supposed to be cars, and it's just a mess, basically. It's just all random blotchy pixels. And then I thought, well, there's all that software that I keep seeing advertised that's supposed to, you know, be able to up a file a lot cleaner than that. So I thought I'd give it a go. 
So like I said, I downloaded a piece of their software. The one for up uh images is called Gigapixel AI. Um, this is just the free trial version. And it shows you here, you know, here's the original file and here's what it's going to look like when you're finished and it's all a lot more detailed and you never really know whether that's actually what it's going to turn out like or whether it's complete garbage. So all it wants us to do is drag and drop the original file straight in there, brings it up here and it shows us a preview rendering of what it's going to look like, what the original file is and what the preview is. And straight away the preview actually looks quite promising. All of this area here is all really pixelated, whereas here it actually looks a lot cleaner. And especially on the mountain range, all the sky from the Facebook compression has really taken out the detail in the sky that at least the preview seems to suggest it's going to bring back. And you can drag a look around the image and it's going to re-render the preview. And... Again, even like down here, the original file was really heavily pixelated and it seems to have cleaned it up quite a lot. Now they give you various choices here, so you can resize it, it's down as two times resize in here. It gives you the option of a half size, two times, four times, six times or any other times you want. So I'll set it to four times so it matches the upscale file from Lightroom. Face refinement. I'll be impressed if it can pick up any faces from several hundred feet in the air. Uh, select mode, manual or auto, and it gives you the option of suppressing noise and removing blur, both of which are down as 50. There's no blur to remove, so I'll take that down to 1. But we'll keep a bit of noise suppression in because it, it, it seems to actually do pretty a pretty good job there. So we'll save it as a JPEG, maximum quality, file names, whatever, and we'll... So I'll just let this finish exporting. 30 seconds that took. Doesn't seem too bad. Uh, so we'll bring this into Lightroom. Now if we bring these in and compare, I'm not even entirely sure which is which. Yes, I am. Kind of blindingly obvious. This one has still got a ton of noise all over there. This one looks a hell of a lot cleaner. Now, if I zoom right into this little section at the front here, this is like the pushing the extremes here, you can see on the original file, it was just a ton of noise. You can half make out that it's, you know, all of these are, are windows on a hotel, but Gigapixel, to its credit, has been able to do a pretty good job of clarifying and defining that a little bit more. But there does seem to be a few areas where the pixelating was probably a little bit too much and it's not been able to fully render it properly. And if we come down to the front here, the car park, I mean, what was originally just a wall of noisy mess, it has cleaned it up a lot. I mean, it has distorted the living hell out of the cars, but to be fair, it does look a damn sight cleaner than what the original file did. I think where you can tell it really struggles is, is here. So that looks like it's possibly a junction it's definitely the strip of road possibly a junction with lights on and stuff there's there's just not enough detail in the original file for gigapixel to work out what it's meant to be but you can't really knock it for that because to be fair that's what i said at the start software can only go so far in trying to work out what was originally there when there's not enough information to go off but it's done a pretty good job with the likes of that sign I, I couldn't even distinguish from eye what that sign is supposed to look like, and yet what it's come up with looks like, from memory, I have no idea what it's actually supposed to be, but that, that can't be far off. In fact, you know what? All right, so that's supposed to be like a, a H within a spiral, but fair play, it hadn't done a bad job to get from that to, to that. I think to be fair though, where the, the gigapixel really shines is when you look more at the horizon. So if we look way off into the distance, the original file, a pixelated mess, there's just nothing but interference in the sky. The gigapixel's done a pretty good job of filtering out the mountain range. What was just a god-awful mess has become a damn sight more distinguishable now. It's even picked up that there was something there and a road on the horizon. 
don't get me wrong, it's nowhere near perfect. There are a lot of areas here where it, it's tried to, you know, it, it's just not got enough information to work with and it's sort of guessed as best as it can and it's, it's distorted a load of lines. But you're only going to notice that when you're zooming in to a huge amount. But it certainly does a really good job of, if you're in situations like I've been in, where you've lost original files, all you've got is really run down, low resolution files, and nothing else to work with, you are going to at least be able to produce something like a usable result. I mean, to be fair, at 4,000 pixels high, a 3x2 crop of that is, is 24 megapixels. And if I'd probably shot that as one image, 24 megapixels with a wide angle lens, I probably wouldn't have had that much detail anyway. It would have been pixelated to begin with. So like a week ago, I was ridiculously skeptical of all this software I kept seeing advertised, thinking not a chance that software can up res that much and, you know, fill in blanks and produce a sharper result. It, it's done a really good job. The only downside is Topaz are currently charging $100 for the software. Which seems a bit steep in my opinion, because at least for me, this is a piece of software that I would very rarely use. It's not like I'm going to take every image that I've ever got, you know, all, all the 20 odd megapixel files and go, I'm just going to up res them all, because I've no need to up res them. I only up res this particular one, because the only copy I had was a really compressed, low-resolution version. Now, maybe if you're someone in a situation where you have a lot of this sort of scenario, where you have a lot of low-resolution files that you do want to try and rescue, you do want to recover, then maybe $100 is justifiable for you. But for me, I think for a lot of people, $100 might be a little bit too much. So if you want to go and check this out, I will leave a link to the Gigapixel page down below. Obviously, it's not an affiliate link because Topaz have no idea that I've made this video at all. But as always, guys, if you have any questions or queries, the comment box is down there as well. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you in the next video.